This is John here for PowerYourself.com. I wanted to bring you back after the tack welding of the, uh, the seam. You can see here that I've, I've put a weld bead about every, I don't know, quarter inch, half inch at the very most, um, all the way down here. And this is to make sure so that these don't warp out of plane when you weld it up. So um, let me pan over. I want to show you what happened at one spot. So if you see right there, at that spot, I actually uh, I removed the clamp right here, and the panel lifted. And when it did, it blew. It allowed me to blow a hole, whereas all the other ones made nice welds. Now, to really get, it seems like to get like your gold, you know, no purple colors, just golds. You got to get the tip real close. I'm really having a hard time with this welder. This Everlast welder is just not reliable, and it's just complete garbage in my opinion but um, they're they're insisting that they fixed it and I have to send it back for another six months so I'm just gonna work with it but um, it doesn't want to start it can, the arc doesn't want to start very well uh, so I'm having a hard time and I gotta push the tip like almost on the metal just to get it to start up um, but besides that um, I was able to weld this up so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to remove the clamps and just roll it off the seam there to the side and then go ahead and repaste flux on the back side and clamp it back up and then what I'll do is um, every, let's see, every in between each of these I'm going to just go to weld from this one to this one and then skip from here to here and then skip. So you skip the space in between is where the flux is still applied. So this way you never are welding over a spot that's been welded already. So if I went like through this, I would have welded over that. And you want to repaint the flux before you do that. And that's just to make sure that you get good penetration on the back side of the weld and it doesn't end up browning or sugaring or like carp. It basically creates a brittle metal on the back side, which is, is not what you want. So uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to paste this up and I will weld the rest of the seam up uh, all the way. I was going to try to weld and, and show you on the camera, but it's just too hard. I, I blocked the camera and it just doesn't work. So I'll go ahead and uh, paste the back of this and then weld this up the, at least between the dots. And then I'll come back and I'll show you um, the next time before I have to uh, repaste the back side of the weld. All right. Uh, this is John for PowerYourself.com signing off.